Hey there, what's up? Welcome to the channel. Now in what's in my phone video, I mentioned about ancient OS and it's been my favorite ROM for a while now. And if you love customizing your phone, you will also gonna like it. Also don't go by its name. There isn't anything ancient here. UI is fresh and has got some really interesting features. Let's have a look at all the details of this ROM in this video. First is the extended UI. We have seen the lots of ROM having the similar extended UI which makes the single handed use much easier but in most of them the UI elements is present in the main menu only. But here in ancient OS this extended UI is carried forward in the sub menu too which I think makes a much more sense. Now like every other ROM this ROM has a customization center called the Megalith 11. Here you do get the usual notification status bar and all the other customization option which you get in any other ROMs but we also get some additional bits in every section. Like here in interface we get the usual accent color system theme and lot more but there is an interesting option called the status bar icon so you get a variety of styles for status bar icon to choose from which is for the first time I have seen in a ROM after so long. Then we have an option for different style brightness slider which is again not a lot of ROMs have this option. What's even crazier is that you can have a colorful accent colors in the quick setting toggle. In status bar section you get the usual status bar customization like battery bar, clock style, network speed indicator. But again here too you get one toggle which you might have never heard of called the dual row which basically expands the status bar by one extra row to accommodate more icons. Although it kinda looks ugly but if you are into that you get an option. There's also multiple options for charging animations on lock screen which looks sick. So yeah if you love customizing the UI you must definitely try this out. Now all these features are great but what about the performance? Well here is a Geekbench score. Now, as for the usage, phone runs pretty smooth, there isn't any app crashes too. I do feel the RAM management is a bit of a letdown as it closes the app in the background quite frequently. As for the gaming, I played a couple of games including PUBG and I get around 30 to 40 FPS in classic matches which is on par with any other ASP ROM. Now coming to the battery, first thing, I love the way the battery usage page is represented. The animations, the way data is shown, it's quite refreshing. It also shows charge cycle so yeah it's quite a lot of details. We even have the smart charging functionality which when turned on stops the charging at certain percentage as said by the user which is again a great feature to have to extend the battery health. In my usage I get around 10 hours plus of screen on time which is on par with every other Android 11 ROMs. 33 watt charging is also working here so nothing to complain on the battery front. This ROM also comes with the MIUI camera by default and basic stuff like Wi-Fi, hotspot, Bluetooth are working perfectly. So yeah, overall it's a pretty good ROM and I don't see any major problem with this ROM. RAM management could have been better but yeah, it's not a big deal for me. If you are looking for best ASP experience, do give this ROM a try. Okay, now for installation, you just need to wipe data, cache and flash the ROM zip file. If for some reason ROM doesn't boot off, Flash the decrypt zip file and you are done. If you still have any doubts and queries, comment down below or you can DM me on Instagram and Twitter. The handle link will be there in the description section below. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until then, my name is Richard and I will catch you guys in the next one.